Just recently, we saw the release of the second installment of Knives Out with a brand new cast, but like its predecessor, it was a commercial hit. For today's video, we'll be focusing on the youngest cast member, Madeline Klein, as she comments on Glass Onion's all-star cast. Plus, get to know if the blonde bombshell has a boyfriend right now, only here in today's video. So, what does the Outer Banks actress have to say about Glass Onion and working with a star-studded cast? The Outer Banks actress discussed how she was surprised to be a cast in the picture, her character character, Whiskey's connection with David Batista's Duke, and starring opposite such great figures as Daniel Craig, Kate Hudson, Edward Norton, Janelle Monae, and Katherine Hahn. Klein also explains the sequel's relationship with 2019's Knives Out, how Ed Norton's playlist kept the group moving, and how Daniel Craig despises jazz. For starters, let's talk about how the 24-year-old actress bagged the role of Whiskey, Duke's girlfriend in the movie. The actress began by recounting how she received an email from her agents informing her that she had been chosen for the role in the film. Obviously, the actress was only stunned because she is such a fan of the first picture, which made her nervous. She then submitted a self-tape, followed by another, and had a callback producer session. Soon after, she had a director's meeting with Ryan Coogler, to which Klein recalled that when he gave her the call, it was all over Zoom because the epidemic was still at its peak. It wasn't long before the actress packed her bags and headed to Greece to film. Compared to the rest of the cast, Madeline Klein was fairly new to the industry, so of course the actress shared how she felt sharing the screen with some of Hollywood's household names. It was intimidating, really, really intimidating. And of course, because of how prolific their careers have been, their reputations preceded them, so I kind of psyched myself out a little bit, the 24-year-old actress said. I was so nervous. I was like, I have to get my shit together. I just wanted to be able to hold my own, and I was really, really excited to learn from them and to kind of study. Furthermore, Klein stated that filming felt like a masterclass because she got to watch all these truly brilliant performances work, and then she got to know them and quickly learned that they are just as wonderful people as they are actors. You know, it's so funny because people talk about, especially as an actor, you think about, you know, meeting or you've been working with your heroes, especially as a young actor. So getting to do this, being so young, it was truly like a pinch me kind of thing. For three months, I would wake up in the morning, then I'd kind of slap myself around like get yourself together and soak it all in, she added. Acting alongside them did take a while, so one can't help but wonder, did she ever get a custom and comfortable to her co-star's presence. According to the actress, she does not believe the nerves ever truly went away. Klein believes she began to relax in the adrenaline from the nerves because she understood early on that it was such a familial, caring, and supportive environment, so it got easier to channel the nerves into a performance and less about psyching herself out a little bit. She also believes that's where she started to grow more comfortable, and as a result, they began to become freer in the play spirit of it all. Now we move on to Madeline Klein's character, Whiskey. Surprisingly, Klein herself pitched the idea of who her character is to director Ryan Johnson. In the interview, the actress described how, when she first received the email, her character's details were limited to her age and who she was linked to. When she initially met the firm's director, she pitched Whiskey's concept to him, noting how good it was that he was more interested in what the actors might bring to the table to complement what he had already written, because what he had already written was so rich. Madeline Klein stated that she had jotted down a slew of ideas and conducted an extensive study on influencers and YouTubers. She even said that she basically had this notebook of thoughts. So when Ryan Johnson answered the Zoom call during their meeting, she just kind of word vomited her ideas and who she thought Whiskey was. It was a really great conversation because she could immediately tell how collaborative and funny he was as a director and he was all in to try everything. Next, let's talk about Whiskey and Duke's relationship in Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. On the get-go, we could see their character are juxtaposed with each other. Madeline Klein believes Whiskey feels deeply for Duke, but she also believes Whiskey cares deeply about her aspirations. Furthermore, she believes there is some social climbing and that the relationship with each other is mutually advantageous for what each other desires, and that the way they interact and move around each other has a lot to do with it. The actress also heaps praises on Dave Batista, who she described as someone who is so beautiful and such a fantastic person. She also remarked that he's just so attractive and he's just a gentle giant and a beautiful person and how his Duke was absolutely perfect. So, did the cast take inspiration from certain people to portray their characters? Madeline Klein responded that everyone has drawn inspiration from persons they have seen, been around, experienced, or had interactions with. She believes that 
that what was really enjoyable about it was how satirical it all was and how everyone really got into it, but she thinks everyone kind of pulled little parts and pieces, with some more than others, depending on each cast member's acting style. She accepted little bite-sized chunks of people she had seen, and she believes many of her castmates did the same just by hearing them talk. Finally, the actress claimed that Edward Norton's playlist was a key memory for her while making the film. When Madeline Klein thinks of Knives Out 2, she recalls the Green Room playlist that Edward Norton prepared. In a selection of tunes they heard in the Green Room, a lot of stuff was from the 1970s and 1960s, and they were all oldies and throwbacks, but no jazz since Daniel Craig despises jazz. She also quipped that if you ever have the opportunity to be near him, play jazz so you can witness his reaction. Moving forward, let's talk about Madeline Klein's personal life. Is the Outer Banks actress currently seeing someone right now? The 24-year-old actress is due to return to the successful series Outer Banks for its third season in 2023, alongside real-life ex-boyfriend Chase Stokes, who plays Sarah Cameron's on-screen love interest John B. Since the TV actors declared it quits in 2021, there have been recurrent speculations of a love reconciliation among Netflix show fans, not least because the couple has been back on set filming new episodes together. Madeline, on the other hand, has been linked to several and other hot suitors in recent months. Here's everything we know about Madeline Klein and Chase Stokes' relationship history, as well as if their on-again, off-again affair appears to be done for good, because just like Justin and Hailey Bieber, they were a fan-favorite celebrity pair. So, is Madeline Klein in a relationship right now? Outer Banks viewers had long hoped that Madeline and Chase will rekindle their love after their breakup last year. For several months, this looked like a possibility, given that the former couple was back on set together, and that they were both supposedly single. However, it has been verified that Madeline is no longer available, and most certainly not with Chase. The cut portrays the celebrity as being at the Malibu home she shares with her partner and pets in December 2022. Her current boyfriend appears to be serious, but she appears to want to keep his identity a secret for the time being. And since the actress is trying to keep a low profile on who she's dating now, let's look back and see who Madeline Klein was dating through the years. First, the actress was linked to Jackson Guthy. Back in May, there were reports that Madeline was dating Jackson Guthy. She seemed to go to a wedding with the 26-year-old musician who previously dated YouTube star Olivia Jade Guinelli until 2019. Then in June, they were seen eating lunch in Malibu and went grocery shopping together. However, none of them has declared a relationship is in the works and they are both missing from each other's social media accounts. Then there's also Zach Bia. She was also linked to Zach Bia in December 2021, just after Madeline and Chase were reunited at the People's Choice Awards. Just before her 24th birthday, the couple was seen leaving an LA restaurant together. However, the DJ, 26, insists they were simply pals. We are not dating, we hang out all the time. He revealed on the BFFs with Dave Portnoy and Josh Richards podcast in January. Apart from these two, Madeline Klein was also linked to Ross Butler. Madeline was linked to Ross Butler just before that in November 2021. The 32-year-old also appeared in the Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. They were just friends, Ross told TMZ. He then went on to further confuse matters by writing a romantic comment on one of Madeline's Instagram images, igniting speculations once more. And finally, Madeline Klein's last known relationship was with Chase Stokes. Chase was Madeline's most recent confirmed relationship. After playing love interest on the set of Outer Banks, she met the 30-year-old actor. They fell in love in real life in April 2020 when they were forced to quarantine together during the first pandemic lockdown, and they went public with their romance the following June. The couple fell silent in 2021 after routinely appearing in public together and posting loving social media pictures where a source revealed on E! in October of that year. The news was that they broke it off. Meanwhile, an insider told people that they were trying to work things out privately, but broke up a couple of months ago. When new promotional content for their Netflix series showed them holding hands, many were perplexed. Madeline, on the other hand, asserted to Us Weekly at a March Hollywood event that they were only in character filming new sequences. With that, we're wrapping up every Everything we know about what Madeline Klein had to say about Knives Out 2. Are you excited to see the actress return for her role in Outer Banks? Tell us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. See you next time, and thanks for watching.